and welcome back to the channel. Those of you who are slightly askew like me, welcome to my new and improved set. I've had a smartphone for a really long time and part of me has always wondered, can I text without looking? Because I'm pretty good at texting while looking. Let the challenge begin. All right, now you can see my phone on the screen. Just to prove to you that I'm not cheating, I'm gonna bring this beanie all the way down. Gosh, that's too far down. <laughs> Too far down, too far down. I have my phone. I now cannot see anything. Let's see if I can get a drink of water. <laughs> okay, that's way harder when you can't see. Did I just type something? I indeed had just typed something. This is not gonna go well, guys. I can already tell you that right now. I don't know if there's something on the screen that I've already typed right now. We're gonna go ahead and start with the first phrase. She sells seashells down by the seashore. This is way harder than I expected. Oh my goodness, let's see what I got. Phone is off. I somehow managed to turn my phone off completely on the first attempt of this. All right, my phone is open. Let's see if I can type, she sells seashells down by the seashore. She sells seashells down by the seashore. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Sorry sells seashells down by the sea's shore. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did he pick? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Pick. As you guys can see, I probably nailed it, even though I'm not looking right now. Oh gosh. Prior Piper picked some purge of pickled peppers. Joe many pickled peppers did J pick. I think that's pretty good. I really want to try to get one of these right. The next one is how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck couldn't chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck Chuck, if a wood chuck couldn't chuck wood. All right, let's see how we did. As you can clearly see here, and something I didn't know at the time, all the words that are underlined were autocorrected, which means I only got how much and chuck from this entire phrase correct. Keep it up, Ryan. Oh. Okay then, that's not very good. How much tour? Dude, that's not even a word. Chuck Chuck I'd Wildebuck. It's a we. It's safe to say I nailed this one. I am, I know, I don't need the applause. 10 out of 10. He threw three free throws. This one's just a sentence, okay? It's a tongue twister, but it's a sentence. Let's go ahead and knock it out. He threw three three throws. He threw three draw throws. Oh, I'll take it. Ah, uh, autocorrect is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Again, in this sentence, I only get two words correct. He and three. I got through, draw, and throws all autocorrected. I absolutely butchered this small sentence. Things are not going well right now. That's pretty close. He threw three draw throws. I can't speak. I may or may not have gotten that one right because it looks like the word here it's trying to say is drew throughs. So I may have actually not done well on this one at all. I might have gotten through wrong also. So that's not very good. Now you're starting to get it, champ. So far, we are 0 for 4, and things are going very well. A happy hippo hopped and hiccuped. You happy hippo hopped and his upped. That's pretty close, guys. I think I did pretty well with that one. All right, so now it's getting harder. Now these are getting way more difficult. Bread fed Ted bread and Ted fed Fred bread. Say that 10 times fast. I'm pretty sure you can tell by my results that I'm not cheating. Bread fed Ted bread and now Ted's feeding, right? Ted fed bread bread. I didn't get a single word right. Hard CDX, GDX, BFDAC, and GDX, CDX, CDSX, BFDAC. Guys, I don't think I'm very good at this. It's challenging moments like these that definitely make a man, and boy was I being challenged today. When I had the idea for the concept of this video, I thought maybe I'd be really good at it, but I'm actually the opposite. I'm not good at this at all. The next one is can you can a can as a can or can can a can. And and a can as a canner and and a can. 
and you can a van as a canner van can a van. The C is next to the V. If I had just moved my thumb a little bit to the left, I would have gotten that one right on the three words that I put van instead of can. My confidence is down. I don't know what's going on in the world anymore. At this point, I'd hit an all-time low. All concept of reality had flown out the window at this point, and I didn't even know who I was anymore. This is probably as close as we're gonna get to getting one right, so we're gonna go ahead and probably call this one a good one. Where's my phone? Where'd my phone go? Betty's Big Bunny bobbled by the blueberry bush. <laughs> what was it again? Betty's Big Bunny bobbled by the blue Berry bush. I did that pretty good. Betty's big bunny by the blueberry buzzed. You know, I think if I sent that to somebody, they'd be like, I kind of understand what you're saying. That's the kind of situation where if someone knew me well enough, I think they might be able to get that. Okay, there's Betty's big bunny did something by the blueberry visage. Now we are on to the last two ones. These are the hardest ones ever. They are so hard. I don't know how we're going to do because so far we've done horrible. I don't even know how to remember this one. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. I wouldn't have thought I thought. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not going to remember this one. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought I thought. <sighs> Pretty sure I just butchered that phrase because I didn't know what the heck was going on. I thought a thought, but but he thought you thought wasn't the thought you thought you think of it you thought. We're in the ballpark of kind of an idea or a concept that would have possibly maybe been right if I was blind or something. And now for the last one, the one that I have not been looking forward to, literally the longest word in existence, I think, I think I'm pretty sure, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. It is the longest word that I could think of. And now we're gonna try to type it to my wife. In the middle of her work day, we have currently sent her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're gonna send her an 11th message because we love her so much. Here we go. Come on, Mary Poppins, give me some inspiration. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Super Super caladragilistic expialidocious. That's so close. That's so close to the word. I promise you, I'm not making this up. Super caladragilistic expialidocious. I only missed three letters and I got expialidocious right. Let's go, guys. And I'm going to call that an absolute win at the end here with an incredibly hard word. I'm so stoked that we got that one really close. I think we've learned something here today. It's incredibly hard to type without looking. Can you type without looking? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more. There are plenty of videos on my channel. Be sure to go check those out from when I was in my previous apartment. And I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you later. Bye-bye.